For today's quiz, I've got a very large Van de Graaff generator. I also have a glass mercury bulb. Our question simply is, if a Van de Graaff generator has charges on it, I want this to illuminate, what configuration should I hold the bulb? Should I have it close, far away, or should I have it in this configuration, either close or far away? In order to see the bulb illuminate, we're going to take this Van de Graaff down into the storage room. We can make it nearly completely dark. We'll leave the door open a little bit just so we can make out what's going on. But I think this will work pretty well. If you like what we're doing here at the Idealized Science Institute, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. And visit us at idealizedscience.org. Okay, I'm here in the dark room. I had to leave the door open a little bit more than I thought for the camera to pick me up. But what I'll do is I'll turn the Van de Graaff on for a few seconds, let it build up charge. I'll then take the gas tube from a far distance and then in closer in this configuration, and then the same in this configuration. Let's see what happens. Building up some charge. Oh, you can hear it starting to arc. I'll take it from far away out here, and I'll take it in closer. Oh, that hurt really bad. Uh, but either way, you could see not very much happening here. But if I were to take and hold it uh, and go in radially, you'll see more and more, the closer I get, the more it illuminates. All right, pretty cool. All right, we're back into the light, out of the dark. Here we've got our glass tube, and I've drawn a Van de Graaff generator here. Here's where the belt would be going up and down. I also took this and used it as a template to draw our gas tube. Uh, this is, would be radial, so the Van de Graaff generator is going to end up having electric field lines that are going to em be emitted in a radial direction, so this would end up being parallel with one of those lines. Here, they're going to be going through perpendicular. So why was the parallel so effective at lighting up? Well, we know that our voltage is going to be related to our electric field times a distance. We can end up saying our voltage is our electric field times our distance. Well, in this case, when we are parallel, I'll just deal with that first, when we're parallel, notice how large that distance is from one side to the other. Well, that means we're going to end up having a change in distance from what the electron feels here to here, which is a change in voltage. And that's really what's going to cause the electrons to be liberated. We're going to have a distance where they can end up picking up speed, hitting other electrons, bumping them up a level, letting them drop back down, and emitting a photon. So, because voltage is proportional to distance, the greater the distance, the change in distance, the greater the change in voltage we have. All right, that's your quiz for today.